Hey Brookside boys and girls, welcome to your virtual fun day. This event is called the Egg and Spoon Challenge. Come on over and let me show you the things that we can use. This is all stuff that can be found around your house. A kitchen spoon, a stirring spoon, or a small frying pan. If you don't have any of those, you can use your hand one hand, two hands, doesn't matter. For the objects to carry, you can use a ball, a water bottle cap, tin foil ball, or an egg. For your markers, you can use a cone, a rock, or the sock ball that I've showed you how to use on a few different videos. One of my markers just blew off as well. You can use a water bottle. If you look here, I've used some cones. I took these from the school. I know not everyone has cones, but I use cones. To start this challenge, I pick what I want to carry my object with. I pick my spoon. Now I pick my object. I'm going to try the egg. Please ask your parents first if you're going to use an egg. If not, I think any of these other objects would be fine. I come to my starting point, which is my first marker, and I kind of set up a zigzag course. You can make your course look like whatever you want. Mine's a zigzag, you can make yours a circle, a straight line, whatever you would like to do. I hold egg on my spoon and I start at my starting point and I walk that zigzag pattern between the cones that I set up. Once I get to the end, I come back. Now, there's one extra challenge that you need to be aware of. You need to time yourself, how long it takes to get from the starting point to the end point, back to the starting point. Let's see how long it takes Mr. H. Now, I was by myself, I counted to 15. If you have a partner, feel free to have your partner time you. If you're by yourself, feel free to time yourself. Again, you can use any of the objects that I listed over here. If you find anything else to use as markers or objects, totally fine. Thank you, have a great virtual fun day, Mr. H.